Welcome guys in this new inspired by video, this time inspired by my friend Dory Patrick. I worked on a 10 by 10 wood panel with a border, an edge. And I started by collaging some paper. As you can see, I have a lot of different ephemeras. I have wallpaper, tissue paper, printed paper, uh, some book paper that I stamped and painted on. And this purple one is bleeding tissue paper. This one is daily paper that I use with my jelly plate. I just wanted to see the placement and if the colors went well together first. And it's okay if you change your mind on where goes everything once you start gluing it. I'm using my Catalyst um, blade because it's very sturdy and I love it. Use it with everything and gel medium. And I also have scrapbooking paper because I used to have lots of them that I never ever use because I don't scrapbook. Because there are a lot of empty spaces, I used a, a little stencil with the gel medium just to fill the blank. As you can see, it was not clean and it's okay. This is my paint and I know I will end up using my fingers, so always use a barrier cream and protect them. It's okay to reapply now and then because you don't want the pigment under your skin. I always use white as my blending color, but you can use whatever you prefer. Titan buff is nice too. So I started like patchworking paint with a flat brush. Just, you know, putting it color by color where I thought it would look, la look nice, sorry. And not blending yet. See, that's where my fingers come in. I just find it way easier for me to control what I'm doing with my fingers and I love the effect. So I'm just adding the colors, putting them together and seeing how it goes. Nothing is definite, so that's fine. Just have fun. And you can see that I have some very opaque colors and some that are more transparent. This is because I don't want to lose all the collage paper underneath. I'm scratching some of the wet paint so you can see what's underneath it. I don't know for you but I really like the colors that I picked. Just went with what I was feeling that day. That's always how I go. <laughs> and now I'm tapping the paint. It creates a different texture and a different effect when blending. So the center I used only white because Dory uses words on all of her paintings or this style she's doing anyway. And I wanted to be able to see the words. So you can see I'm seeing what I like and what I don't like. So I used also a little bit of color. And I just didn't want just a blob. So this is why it's not just round. Drying everything before playing with stencils and I'm now using the deco spray by PBO and I freaking love these sprays. I'll talk to you more about them in another video. Nothing is lost. Go to your art journal and get that paint. I love that wine color. I needed some contrast. And this cross stencil by Strumpet Stencil, I use it all the time. So now I'm pushing back some of them. It was a too big area for me, so that's okay. And I add a color on my palette that looks almost identical to the wine color. So I'm adding a little bit of that on my yellow using a fine brush and as you can see, I didn't want the dot to be the same, so I varied, varied the size of them. More interesting. And I didn't want to overdo it. Now for oil pastels, I love my oil pastels. So Dory uses this scallop pattern 
quite often, and this is a pattern that I used to add to my paintings and journals all the time a few years ago, but I kind of forgot about it, so it was good to bring them back. So now I'm using embossing ink with a stamp and a very fine black embossing powder. Still, I needed contrast. Using a fine brush, I can kind of fix where it goes wrong. And I prefer three over two, so I'm adding a third one. It's okay if it's not perfect. And now using my heat tool to set it. It will become glossy and beautiful. Thinking. I didn't like the aqua, so I covered it with white. And just fixing areas, going over to make it more to my likings. I tend to overthink, as you can see. So using my old pastels again to add another dimension. Now the scary part for me, Dory is really good with her lettering. Like I love how she writes on her paintings. I wish I was that talented and I'm not, but that's okay, doing with, you know, how I can. So I first used my Stabilo Graphite to sketch the words and then using my Liquitex paint markers to go over it. And it's okay if it's not exactly over, it was just of a guide, more of a guide than anything, as you can see. And I chose a saying that I tell my daughters a lot. <laughs> a good reminder. To me too. Making it thicker and longer. I should have let it that way and that black outline was a mistake. It's very ugly. And now thinking about it when I, you know, watch myself do it. I could have just let it dry, paint white and go over it. And I didn't. Maybe I will do that. And there you go. I hope you liked it. If yes, please leave me a comment. Tell me who should I choose for my next Inspired By video. And share the love. Bye.